Happy lunch hour, guys. Maybe a little late, but I just got home, got changed clothes, uh, you know, sitting in court there for a couple hours, waiting my turn to listen to all that bullshit, okay? Get that taken care of finally. Uh, had plenty of time to think about where we go from here. Uh, can't change the past. Yesterday is yesterday. Okay? The only thing we can do as preppers is concern ourselves with tomorrow and figure out what we need to do to make sure that all the idiosity that happened yesterday doesn't dramatically hurt us. Okay. Yesterday determined that at least 50% of this country country totally supports the World Economic Forum. They totally want global socialism. They have their heads so far in the sand, amongst other places, uh, that this is all good. Like I said this morning, hey, you know what? I like high inflation. I like high, high uh, unemployment. I like high illegal immigration. I like high gas prices. I like high taxes. Uh, I like high crime. Let's keep doing it. And so in a lot of states yesterday, that's what we got. And don't get me started on the irregularities and stuff like that and craziness going on. I'm right there with you. Okay. But it is what it is and it's what we have to deal with. All right. We are Preppers, we prep for the worst, we pray for the best. Okay, I think a lot of us have done a whole lot of praying lately, but I hope to God a lot of us have done a lot more prepping. Because <clears throat> what ain't going to happen is things are not going to get better. On a good side of things, and I, I'm going to say this because I'm digging deep into the dark gray storm cloud trying to find a silver lining is hopefully things won't get too much worse uh, for the simple reason is with a split Congress, which it looks like what we're going to wind up having, numbers aren't all in yet, so nobody can say, but <clears throat> it looks pretty good that the Republicans will take the House. At least that way we're not going to have the rubber stamp to stupid stuff like the Inflation Reduction Act or the student loan bailout or any of this sort of stuff that's just robbing Peter to pay Paul. So hopefully some of the stupidity in spending stops. Mind you, the House controls the budget, okay? Hopefully they put the brakes on Biden sending every penny that we have in this country to Ukraine and making Zelensky richer. Uh, but we'll see how that one plays out. <clears throat> But where I say things aren't going to get better, okay? Like I said in a few other videos, nobody expected, you know, a light switch to turn on. We now are, you know, as even the Democrats have come out and said to us many times here, uh, there's a whole lot of our programs that haven't even kicked in yet. That's true, guys, okay? There's a whole lot of their spending and inflation-driving Ideas that they've already passed in the law that we haven't even seen yet. Okay. So what can we do? We've got to prep for the worst and we've got to prep harder at this point. There's no question. Unemployment's going to start going up. Okay. The Fed wants that. The Democrats want that. Remember why they want that. That makes people more beholden to them as dear leader. Facebook announced this morning they're laying off another 11,000 people. Way to go. You know, all those Zuckerbucks that got spent? Rather than let people keep their jobs, we'll just lay off 11,000 people. Uh, Redfin Real Estate is laying off. I mean, there's a whole bunch of companies that have announced they're laying off. Okay. Waiting till after the election, now that they got all the votes for the Democrats that the, they wanted out of their employees. Oh, there you go. Thanks for getting all that done for us. By the way, here's your pink slip. Uh, yeah, so, you know, y'all can expect a lot of layoffs. And remember, just because your company may not see it coming, 
if your company does business with another company that just went through a lot of layoffs, it's a trickle-down effect, right? Eventually, there's less work for you. So where does that leave us uh, as preppers? I'm going to say this is my personal opinion. Uh, I've always said a year's worth of food. At this point, I'd say two. That's your goal, to get to that as fast as you can, two years' worth of food. Not because that gets us to 2024 in the next election. That has nothing to do with it. It's because the policies that have been implemented, like I said earlier, have not even all come to fruition yet, and we're going to see a lot worse 2023 than 2022 was. Okay? You know, if you think $4 eggs and $5 gas is bad, wait till next year. That's what's coming. Okay. Food's expensive now. Food's only going to get more expensive next year. Gas is expensive now. Gas is only going to get more expensive next year. Crime is up. Crime is only going to go up higher next year. Okay. Illegal immigration. There, nothing happened yesterday that's going to stop that. The People crossing the border, are they're looking at this going, woohoo, we got two more years to go to the United States. No problem, because nobody will stop us. You know, 87,000 IRS agents, when we should have hired 87,000 Border Patrol agents. That would have been a better idea, but no, we can't do that. But with all those people coming across the border, what does that mean? Well, that's something that's going to drive down wages. It's going to drive up housing costs. It's going to drive up up the price of gas. It's going to drive up the price of food, the price of utilities, etc., etc., etc. There isn't enough in the United States to support bringing in 2 million people a year. What's going to happen next year when it's 3 million or 4 million? That's what's coming, guys. And to prep for this, you need to be really ramping up now. Stocking food, stocking ammo, any weaponry you need to buy, because the crime is eventually going to land in your backyard. I, I'm just telling you this, you're going to wake up one morning and there's going to be a tent pitched out in your front yard. There's going to be somebody that's going to be hungry that's going to try to break into your house, whatever it would be. Economically, uh, you're going to see the dollar get a lot weaker. Uh, you will probably see the stock market waffle around for a little bit, not go up, not go down. Uh, but again, you've got to remember things. Biden's already talking about adding more taxes. Okay, So your spending ability is going to go down. Remember, in the last two years, real wages have gone down about 3.5%, while inflation's gone up around 8 So yeah, you have 11.5% less spending power than you did two years ago. But hey, you know what? I want more of this, is what half the country just told us. I don't know what to tell it, tell you guys at this point. I mean, we something something's going to give, something's going to break, but whether World War III breaks out, whether it's Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan... Iran, Saudi Arabia, North Korea, South Korea, whatever it is. God knows Joe's going to have his little fingers in there. The Senate, of course, is going to be totally happy because it's right now 50-50 looks pretty probable. Okay, The only advantage we have is the fact that the House controls the budget, like I said. So maybe we don't spend as much money. But guys, <clears throat> put it away. Your precious metals, all of them, brass, lead, gold, silver, are things that you're going to really want to start stocking up on. We're going to look back at 2022 as the good old days in 2023. Yesterday just told me this country is doomed. And that hurts. But I'm a realist. So... We'll see what happens. There's some bright spots in the country. Florida looks like a good spot to be. Tennessee still looks like a good spot to be. Illinois, New York, California, Massachusetts, 
Arizona. Arizona, I hate to tell you this, you aren't a red state anymore. Okay. Uh, not with Mark Kelly winning, not with Katie Hobbs still leading. Okay, I guess we're not supposed to know that one until Friday. Uh, you just have to, there's in these cities that in the, in these states that have too many mental midgets that voted for Democrats, guys, get out while you can. <clears throat> I'm sorry to say that, but it it's gotten to a point where there's a lot of there's a lot of states that we just need to write off as lost causes and say, forget it. You know, I understand people have jobs there. Those aren't going to last. Okay. I understand people have houses there. Who knows what happens if you can sell it, get out. Uh, but there was not a whole lot of good that came out from yesterday. And me being the eternal optimist, I don't have a whole lot of optimism going forward. Prep hard. You'll be thankful you did. And roll out.